Yo, I'm at Ruby Memorial Hospital in Morgantown, West Virginia. Drove all night to get here with my mom. Um, came here for my brother Manny. Uh, yesterday, we went and saw Star Wars, which is much better than I had anticipated. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out, even if you're worried about the reviews. But my mom was getting calls all day from Ruby Memorial Hospital and she wasn't paying any attention to them because this is where she had her lung surgery and so she wasn't uh, worried about the calls because she thought they were just uh, doing a checkup. Turns out, turns out that's not what they were calling for. Um, I was working on a video script after we watched Star Wars and about 10 o'clock, I saw my mom crying, and she had found out that they weren't calling for her. They were calling because she was the emergency contact for my brother Manny. So, um, turns out Manny had a little problem. Um, by the way, some of you saw Manny a few weeks ago when I posted a little message for Thanksgiving. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's me, it's D Wood. Happy Thanksgiving. And I'm here right now with my youngest brother, Manny. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. He is a beady-eyed little punk. Um, he has a habit of uh, getting locked up and then getting all shredded up, and then he gets out, and then he uh, just starts letting himself go. And <laughs> then he gets hooked on drugs and starts looking like a Holocaust victim. Then he gets locked back up, and he gets all swole up again. <laughs> and uh, he's... Uh, He's, uh, he's doing well now. I have my moments. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can tell. You can tell, uh, you can tell when he's, uh, he's doing well because he doesn't look, all, doesn't look all scrawny. True to form, Manny did some drugs. And a lot of times with drugs, you don't know exactly what's in them or how your body's going to react. And you may get a lot of second chances. But sometimes those odds catch up with you. Let's go have a look. Yo, this is my brother Manny right here. See all the machines keeping him going, keeping his systems going, keeping his organs functioning right now? See all these medications? Took some drugs yesterday. Broke down some of his muscles because his uh, muscles were reacting so rapidly to it. Broke down some muscles, released a bunch of potassium into his uh, into his blood and caused a bunch of organ failure, including his heart, which deprived his brain of oxygen. So uh, now they're just wondering how, the, how bad the damage is, and we'll have to wait on that information. But the takeaway for everyone else is don't do drugs. Not worth it. All right, I just talked to the doctor, and she was cool because she was very honest in the way she was uh, explaining the situation. But Manny does have some reaction when a light is shined in his eyes. His eyes do react. And he has uh, some level of gag reflex with the tubes down his throat. So that is some level of brain activity, but it is very, very basic brain function. He has no pain response, meaning they're in there uh, basically poking him, prodding him, using forceps to pinch him, trying to get some sort of uh, pain reaction from him, some sort of recoiling or something like that, and he has none, which um, makes it seem like that part of his brain is not functioning. So, uh, not looking great. His brain is uh, massively cooled down. They have uh, chilled his entire body because uh, when it was swelling, um, they want to cool that down very quickly to try and preserve the brain function, so he's been chilled. She said um, around 4 o'clock this afternoon, they're going to start warming him back up, and it'll take about 24 hours to warm him back up. And basically, she said, then they'll see if there's any, any brain function left beyond, uh, you know, reflexes. So, we're going to see how things go, and uh, I'll keep you all updated. But, 
Man, I'll go ahead and tell you. Drugs are like the most confusing thing. And not, hey, and not, oh, I can't understand why people would want to do drugs. Uh, I, it's obvious why people want to do drugs. Uh, I mean, I can never figure out what to do with the problem. Every other problem in the world, up to and including like global jihad, whenever I hear about the problem, I immediately think of all the steps that would lead to a solution. And when you've got someone who has been addicted to drugs and has a recurring problem, in other words, they don't, they don't get over it, they keep coming back to it, I cannot for the life of me figure out what you do in that situation. Because if you've got the type of person who turns to drugs when he's got problems or he gets depressed, guess what? You're eventually going to have problems. You're eventually going to get depressed. So how do you stop them from going back to that? I mean, you could be very self-controlled, very self-disciplined for two years, three years, and then have one really bad day and you are right back in there. And uh, I've seen that with a lot of my family members over the years. I was actually fortunate. I never got into drugs. And it's probably, it, it's, it's, it's mostly because of other problems I had. Um, those of you who watch me know, I'm a psychopath and psychopaths have uh, narcissistic tendencies. They're egomaniacs. And so I was, I was pretty immune to peer pressure, right? When someone would try to peer pressure me into doing something, hey, David, try this. I was always thinking, what are you talking about? You're inferior to me. You're an inferior being. Why would I do something that you want me to do? So the positive result of that is that I didn't get involved with things like drugs. And so uh, that was a massive departure from uh, most of the other people in my family. Um, and then, of course, once I became a Christian, um, since I'd never had a problem with drugs, there was, there was no... Uh, temptation for me to ever return to something like that. Uh, but for other people in my family, yeah, they can get clean. They can go to rehab. Um, they can be going to, you know, groups where they uh, meet with other addicts and so on. And eventually, over and over again, they keep going back and you just run out of chances. You run out of chances because eventually that stuff catches up with you. So that's the situation. Again, I'll uh, keep you all updated. Oh, by the way, side note. When Manny was in that Thanksgiving video, uh, I got a bunch of comments asking about his son and the custody situation. That's the wrong brother. Um, my brother who got out of prison and uh, his wife died of a, an aneurysm while he was in prison and then has been fighting for custody of his son. Uh, that's my brother John. He's doing very well. Uh, the custody situation is going very well. Um, looks like he's going to get back uh, custody of his son. So John's doing very well. Manny, as you can see, not so much. So, catch y'all soon.